Hello everyone. Today I would like to share with you my experience with the high start option in Counter-Strike 2. Players have experimented with setting the game's process priority high in an attempt to improve performance by adding the high option to the game's startup. But not all players have found this approach to be successful. The purpose of this video is to provide a brief introduction to process prioritization and offer a more stable option for running the Counter-Strike 2 process with maximum performance. So, let's start. Process Priority Process priority is a numerical value that determines the relative importance of a process compared to other processes in the system. Processes with higher priority receive more CPU time, meaning they are executed more frequently and faster. Priorities are used to ensure that critical processes, such as the operating system or real-time applications, always have sufficient resources to run, even if the system is heavily loaded. Process priority can be set automatically by the operating system or manually by the user. Process affinity. Another important term to note is process affinity. Process affinity is a mechanism that allows a process to be bound to a specific processor or core. This means that the process will only run on that particular processor. Process priority and process affinity are two important concepts in operating systems that influence how processes are executed on a computer. I don't think there is a need to adjust the process affinity of Counter-Strike 2 because the game is modern and its architecture is already highly optimized for efficient operation on multi-core processors. However, adjusting this mechanism on older computers can lead to positive results. Game developers, especially those of popular and resource-intensive games like Counter-Strike 2, pay great attention to optimization. They ensure optimal automatic load distribution among all available processor cores using the most advanced algorithms and technologies. Additionally, the team at Valve has taken care of multi-threading and dynamic load balancing. Therefore, manual adjustment of affinity in such cases can do more harm than good. The architecture of older processors has a less efficient load distribution system, and manual adjustment of affinity could help optimize the game's performance for a specific configuration. Also, manual adjustment of affinity can isolate the game from other applications, such as background processes, which could compete for processor resources. What does high priority provide? Running the game with high priority means that the operating system allocates more computational resources, such as CPU time and RAM, to the game. This is done to make the game run more smoothly and without delays, giving it preference over other running applications. Running the game with high priority can be useful if your computer is not very powerful. Setting high priority for the game can help improve its performance. It is also useful in multitasking scenarios. If you run multiple applications simultaneously, high priority for the game helps it run more stably without slowing down due to other tasks, such as the constant operation of an antivirus, which is often resource intensive. How does it work? The operating system constantly distributes resources among the various programs running on the computer. When you set high priority for the game, you are telling the system that this game is the most important at the moment. Most of the computational work in the game is done by the processor, with high priority, the game gets more time to run on the processor, allowing it to perform more calculations per unit of time. RAM is used to store data that programs actively use. A game with high priority can occupy more RAM, which also contributes to smoother operation. High priority for the CS2. .xe process. The developers of Counter-Strike 2 have provided the option to run the game with high priority, which can be done by adding the high option to the game's launch parameters. A significant number of players report that the game becomes more responsive and smoother. 
but they also experience sudden freezes and even crashes. This can happen due to conflicts with other processes. If your computer is running many other resource-intensive programs, constantly allocating maximum priority to CS2 can lead to system instability and consequently lag. Additionally, in some cases, the operating system may limit the operation of processes, even if they have been assigned high priority by the application. Therefore, it is recommended to set the priority not in the application, in our case CS2, but in the operating system's registry. Configuring through the registry can be less resource intensive than constantly using the dash high parameter. Setting the priority through the registry makes the system more stable in resource distribution. How to set high priority for the CS2.xe process? Open the registry editor. To open the registry editor of the operating system, run the file regedit.xe. It is located in the Windows System Root folder. The System Root folder is included in the System Environment variables, so you can launch the registry editor without specifying the full path from Command Prompt or PowerShell. You can also call it from the Run window or through the Start menu. It is not necessary to specify the extension, but it is not an error. Navigate to the following path in the registry. Create a new key. In the Image File Execution Options folder, create a new key with the name of the executable file, cs2.xe. Create a subkey. In the Image File Execution Options, cs2.xe folder, create a new key with the name Perf Options. In the Perf Options section, window on the right side, create a DWORD32 value parameter, name it CPU Priority Class, and set the desired value. In our case, this is 3. We need the decimal system, but the values up to 10 are the same in both systems, so you can leave the default hexadecimal system. That's it, you can close the registry editor. This way, the CS2.exe process will now always start with high priority. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Your support means the world to me, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, take care and happy frags. Bye for now.